As our coverage of the 2023 Jose observance continues, Sachin Ramsubag was on the streets of St. James for Big Jose. Well, it's Hussein night in St. James, and as Ghulam Hussein's tomb exits his camp, the drumming behind me signifies the beginning of the Battle of Karbala. The big tatters represent the tombs of the martyrdom of Hussein, the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad, his younger brother Janab Hazrat Abbas, or Hassan, and 70 other friends and relatives who perished in the war. Well, from the very sad and somber drumming that we heard earlier, it's now the drums of war, which signifies that the battle is on. The Tajas are artistically done and beautified all by hand and in recent times built with more environmentally friendly materials and accompanied by specific styles of Tassa drumming. The moons representing Hassan and Hussein are spun in a specific way as a form of sacrifice from the devotees. During the procession, the moon representing Hussein meets his tomb where body and spirit are reunited. Among the thousands in attendance, Port of Spain South MP Keith Scotland was present and noted he has been coming to Hussein for decades and is pleased every year. Every time I see an event like this in Trinidad and Tobago, I thank God, I thank Allah for our diversity of culture. We are such a people of potential and I just want to say that we are a blessed nation. As you can see, I am here supporting the, the culture of Trinidad and Tobago, the religious aspect of it, because remember, Hussein is a religious observation, and I'm here to support it. The commemorations continued on Saturday with Big Hussein Day, or the Day of Ashura. Part of the daytime procession included the prayer at the Queen's Royal College grounds at 3.30 p.m. This coincides with the hour that Imam Hussein and Abbas were killed in Karbala. Hussein ends 40 days after the day of Ashura, which commemorates the martyrdom. Sachin Ramsubag reporting for TTT News.